In this lecture, we will talk about social license to operate. So, uh, what is a license to operate? It is the grant of permission to undertake a business or activity. When referring to corporate social responsibility, that is CSR, license to operate, the term license to operate is often used and it is used to indicate the benchmark of behavior which is established for a company to gain recognition and acceptance in its surroundings. Now, uh, this recognition or acceptance, it can be both formal and informal as we will see. So firstly, uh, we have to understand that this uh, license to operate, the term license to operate is of two types, regulatory license to operate and social license to operate. With respect to sustainability, social license to operate is uh, important. But we will first in brief understand what is regulatory license to operate also. So regulatory license to operate, these are usually institutionalized licenses which have to be compulsorily obtained. So without them, you cannot start a business or a company. So these are compulsory licenses. And uh, these have to be obtained from the licensing authorities, such as regulatory bodies, supervisory committees, or state, national law, and order bodies. So there can be many uh, such uh, regulatory bodies or licensing authorities depending upon what business are you dealing with and uh, these are compulsory necessary licenses uh, which have to be obtained uh, be before starting the business the second type is social license to operate it is also called slo and uh, social license is also a term which is widely used so basically social license to operate and social license, these terms uh, can be used interchangeably. It refers to the acceptance of a company or industry's standard business practices by its employees, stakeholders and the general public. So uh, this is not uh, compulsory. Of course, you can uh, do your business without uh, having obtained the social license to operate but it is seen that usually when people don't obtain it the businesses don't obtain it uh, the uh, business model usually collapses so uh, even when it is not uh, legally uh, compulsory uh, at a social level this becomes compulsory if uh, you want the business or the company to succeed and hence the concept of social license is closely related to the concept of sustainability And uh, one thing about social license to operate uh, is that it is slowly built and maintained over time. So, for example, uh, if you talk about the regulatory license, it uh, is obtained once and uh, then you can go ahead with your business and you don't need to uh, worry about it uh, again and again till uh, the renewal time comes. But uh, social license to operate is something which you have to be constantly working on and it is maintained and built over time because it is based on trust of the stakeholders and the community. So uh, this trust uh, has to be built uh, slowly and regularly. Now to gain uh, the trust, the company needs to do some of these. So first is to take care of their employees. Uh, to give them uh, 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 proper uh, maternity benefits for example or give fair amount of wages so this is something uh, which uh, the companies can do to gain the trust of the employees then to take care of the environment because uh, these days people are becoming more and more aware about environmental issues and they expect the companies to take care of the environment also uh, be transparent and accountable to stakeholders because if you have to establish trust with someone, it is very important to be transparent to them. Uh, be good corporate citizens. Uh, be able to resolve issues quickly. 
uh, the issues that come uh, in your note list should be resolved as quickly as possible because it shows that you are serious about uh, resolving them and the same applies for acting on the feedback that uh, once you get a feedback from consumers or any of the stakeholders it is good to respond as quickly as, as possible and work on that feedback now to obtain social license the company sometimes invest a huge amount of money to advertise and create awareness about their deeds because sometimes it so happens that uh, even if the company is doing good in the uh, field of uh, social sector it doesn't get, get recognized as much which hampers uh, the social license so uh, to obtain the social license uh, as it is important to work for it it is equally important to advertise it so uh, which sometimes goes overboard and the companies actually end up spending more in advertising than actual work but uh, it, the companies uh, should really optimize it and uh, they need to uh, come to a, uh, a point where they uh, invest uh, some amount of money for advertisement and some amount of money to uh, do the actual work and uh, there are uh, some things some activities that can put the social license to operate in jeopardy and often times uh, it is seen that companies pay attention to this concept only when it's too late uh, because uh, to maximize their profits they sometimes uh, uh, are very lenient on the safety criteria which leads to disasters like oil spills or operating line disasters uh, sometimes there are reports of abuse by seniors within the company and such uh, activities such news and and incidents can cause a huge harm to a company's social license to operate also sometimes mal practices such as late payment to employees uh, the companies do not take these things as seriously until it hampers their uh, reputation and uh, sometimes uh, the uh, reputation is uh, destroyed to such an extent that uh, repair is also not possible so it is important that you pay attention to this uh, while you have time also uh, the standards for social license have increased uh, throughout uh, these years and especially in the last two decades uh, because uh, the standards which were there 100 years ago for example are uh, completely changed now and uh, some of the activities that were legal and social uh, and completely acceptable like child labor and unsafe working conditions about 100 years ago they, these activities uh, were not so frowned upon and they were a part of a regular um, way of working in the companies but today uh, as we know that most of these activities are illegal in many countries across the world so um, the standards for social license to operate have drastically uh, increased and uh, the community is becoming more sensitive to things such as all male executive board members so the uh, people the community uh, these days uh, expects the company to be gender neutral and they ex do not expect all male executives and uh, discriminatory hiring practices uh, so uh, sometimes uh, if uh, the board members of the company is into discriminatory hiring practices it hampers the social license of that particular company uh, for example being discriminatory towards people from the lgbtq community or uh, discriminatory uh, being discriminatory towards uh, uh, people of a particular religion so these are some things which uh, have hamper a company's slo uh, the next is outsourcing work to regions without comparative labor rules uh, uh, which uh, end up not paying fair amount of wages to people who are working. Uh, environmental issues is also something which is becoming important for the stakeholders. Uh, body shaming, object, objectification of women is also uh, being seen as something which is not acceptable for the community and uh, uh, animal abuse uh, people also uh, expect the companies to be sensitive towards 
animal rights and uh, not indulge into animal abuse so there are, uh, are for example make up these days that uh, claim themselves to be cruelty free so these are uh, some uh, things which a company can do to obtain uh, the social license to operate so i'll see you in the next video thank you bye